hey guys welcome back to all in law in this video I'm gonna talk about the NADA's criteria NADA's criteria to differentiate the organic murmur from innocent murmurs okay so in a child the child can have an innocent murmur so you have to differentiate whether it's an uh, innocent murmur or organic murmur because if there's an organic murmur then you have to treat with medically or surgically okay if there's an innocent murmur there's no treatment for that it is a physiological and it goes away right so there is a criteria for that that is known as the NADAS criteria NADAS NADAS criteria there's a major criteria and the minor criteria okay major MJ and the minor is MN okay in a major criteria uh, there is a systolic murmur of grade more than 3 okay remember grade more than 3 uh, systolic less than grade 3 is innocent murmur remember then if there is a diastolic murmur any 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 grade is uh, what you call is um, a major criteria okay and if the patient has a CCF that's a congestive cardiac failure and a cyanosis okay so this can be included in the major criteria of NADAS okay then we have what you call uh, the minor criteria if there's a systolic murmur less than grade 3 because sometimes can be a small VST right so abnormal second heart sound abnormal second heart sound okay and hypertension with absent femorals hypertension HYPTN abnormal x-ray chest x-ray of the chest is abnormal if you find any abnormalities and ECG or EKG if it's an abnormal then you can put it as a minor criteria okay guys so remember the major criteria and the minor criteria okay guys presence of one major or two minor criteria are essential for um, for the indicating the presence of heart disease okay one major or two minor one major or two minor okay right guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care